Hello and welcome to this DME On Demand presentation on manual wheelchair upgrades. The information given in this training is correct as of May 2024. The most current information related to this topic can be found on the Neridian DME website at the link listed on this slide. An upgrade is an item that goes beyond what is medically necessary under Medicare's coverage requirements. An item can be considered an upgrade even if the physician has signed an order for it, which means he or she is signing an order for the item the beneficiary does not qualify for. By billing appropriate modifiers, it helps automate the claim processing. Remember to add the appropriate modifier depending on the scenario. When using the GK modifier, the upgrade features are to be entered into the narrative. When using the GL modifier, the make and model of the item actually furnished should be entered in the narrative. When a narrative is required, ensure the information is included in the narrative field of the NTE line level segment of the 2400 loop of the electronic claim or item 19 of the CMS 1500 claim form. Let's look at some examples of how to build the manual wheelchair upgrades. This slide displays what is required if the physician orders the upgrade or the beneficiary requests the upgrade and the beneficiary is paying for the upgrade because they do not meet the coverage criteria requirements. The K0003 lightweight wheelchair was provided, so either the physician ordered or the beneficiary requested and the beneficiary is paying for the difference. The K0001 standard wheelchair is the chair the beneficiary meets criteria for. This is the chair that will be eligible for reimbursement. The amount in line 1 must be greater than the amount in line 2 in order for the claim to process correctly. When an advanced beneficiary notice of non-coverage, also known as an ABN, is obtained, bill the HICSPIX code for the item that is provided, along with all appropriate capped rental modifiers, as well as a GA modifier on the first claim line, and the HICSPIX code for the item that meets coverage criteria with a GK modifier on the second claim line with all other applicable modifiers required, for example, capped rental modifiers, KX modifier when applicable. The codes must be billed in this specific order on the claim in order for the claim to process correctly. In this situation, the claim line with the GA modifier will be denied as not reasonable and necessary with a patient responsibility or PR message and the claim line with the GK modifier will continue through the usual claims processing. In this common example, the physician orders the upgrade, commonly a lightweight wheelchair, but the beneficiary does not meet coverage criteria and the supplier is providing the upgrade chair at no charge to the beneficiary. Another example of this scenario for billing the upgrade is when the upgrade is provided for supplier convenience because the supplier carries the upgrade chair as their standard stock but will not be billing the beneficiary. In either of these scenarios, there will not be a charge to the beneficiary and no ABN will be obtained. When billing, suppliers will only bill the HICSPIX code for the item that meets coverage criteria with a GL modifier and any other appropriate modifiers per the manual wheelchair policy. The make and model of the item that is actually provided is not billed, but is listed in the narrative of the claim. This narrative should be added to the narrative field of the NTE line level segment of the 2400 loop of the electronic claim or item 19 of the CMS 1500 claim form. In this example, the physician has not ordered the upgrade, but it is provided at the request of the beneficiary and the supplier is providing the upgrade free of charge. In this scenario, build the HICSPIX code for the item that is provided with a GZ modifier on one claim line and the 
Hixpix code for the item that meets coverage criteria with a GK modifier on the next claim line with all other applicable modifiers required. For example, capped rental modifiers, KX modifier when applicable. As stated before, the codes must be billed in this specific order on the claim. In this situation, the claim line with the GZ modifier will be denied as not medically necessary with a contractual obligation or CO message, and the claim line with the GK modifier will continue through the usual claims processing. The LCDs and policy articles can be accessed through the Neridian Medicare website by following the path listed here. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Neridian website or YouTube channel.